things nobody tells you about sex after 35. You may think sex stays the same until menopause, but shifts that start around your mid-30s can have a huge impact on what goes on in between the sheets. For better and for. Well, not so good. A new study of sexually active older women has found that sexual satisfaction in women increases with age and those not engaging in sex are satisfied with their sex lives. A majority of study participants report frequent arousal and orgasm that continue into old age, despite low sexual desire. The study appears in the January issue of the American Journal of Medicine. Researchers from the University of California. San Diego School of Medicine and the Veterans Affairs San Diego Healthcare System evaluated sexual activity and satisfaction as reported by 806 older women who are part of the Rancho Bernardo study. Cohort, a group of women who live in a planned community near San Diego and whose health has been tracked for medical research for 40 years. The study measured the prevalence of current sexual activity. The characteristics associated with sexual activity including demographics, health and hormone use, frequency of arousal, lubrication, orgasm and pain during sexual intercourse, and sexual desire and satisfaction in older women. The median age in the study was 67 years and 63 were postmenopausal. Half the respondents who reported having a partner had been sexually active in the last four weeks. The likelihood of sexual activity declined with increasing age. The majority of the sexually active women, 67.1, achieved orgasm most of the time or always. The youngest and oldest women in the study reported the highest frequency of orgasm satisfaction. So, 40 of all women stated that they never or almost never felt sexual desire, and one-third of the sexually active women reported low sexual desire. Lead investigator Elizabeth Barrett Connor, MD, distinguished professor and chief. Division of Epidemiology, Department of Family and Preventive Medicine, University of California, San Diego School of Medicine comments, despite a correlation between sexual desire and other sexual function domains, only one in five sexually active women reported high sexual desire. Approximately half of the women aged 80 years or more reported arousal lubrication and orgasm most of the time but rarely reported sexual desire. In contrast with traditional linear model in which desire precedes sex, these results suggest that women engage in sexual activity for multiple reasons, which may include affirmation or sustenance of a relationship. Tie, lo, draw dit, I. Regardless of partner status or sexual activity, 61 of all women in this cohort were satisfied with their overall sex life. Although older age has been described as a significant predictor of low sexual satisfaction, the percentage of RBS sexually satisfied women actually increased with age, with approximately half of the women over 80 years old reporting sexual satisfaction almost always or always. Not only were the oldest women in this study the most satisfied overall, those who were recently sexually active experienced orgasm satisfaction rates similar to the youngest participants. In this study, sexual activity was not always necessary for sexual satisfaction. Those who were not sexually active may have achieved sexual satisfaction through touching, caressing or other intimacies developed over the course of a long relationship, says first author Susan Trompeter, me and Associate Clinical Professor of Medicine, Division of General Internal Medicine, Department of Medicine at the University of California. San Diego School of Medicine and staff physician at the Viar San Diego Healthcare System. <laughs> Emotional and physical closeness to the partner may be more important than experiencing orgasm. A more positive approach to female sexual health focusing on sexual satisfaction may be more beneficial to women than a focus limited to female sexual activity or dysfunction, Trompeter concludes. <laughs> 1. Post-sex sadness is a real thing. Now, if you've ever cried after sex and thought you were strange, don't. It can actually be a very common occurrence, and there's even an official name for the response. Postcoital dysphoria PDII is characterized by intense feelings of sadness, anger, and even distress after orgasm. There still isn't a great deal known about the condition, but it's believed by certified sex therapist Ian Kerner that it's possibly linked to a surge in hormones which could stem from past trauma from a prior sexual assault in some cases. Ah, two, a strong sense of smell can make you more orgasmic. 
A study that was published in the Archive of Sexual Behavior found that people with a more perceptive sense of smell had better sexual experiences. Women who had a better sense of smell reported having more enjoyable orgasms than those whose noses weren't as sharp. However, the study found that this wasn't actually linked to sexual desire or performance in the bedroom. This suggests that the heightened state of pleasure is triggered by body odors like vaginal fluid and sweat, that those people can smell more easily. 3. Sex increases your immunity to pain. To Aside from the obvious physical pleasure, sex can actually be an aid in pain relief. During states of arousal and orgasm, the hypothalamus in the brain releases the feel-good hormone oxytocin. Researchers at Rutgers University in New Jersey found this surge of oxytocin can help reduce pain felt in women, especially during menstruation. A further study published in the Bulletin of Experimental Biology and Medicine found that oxytocin in men can cut the perception of pain in half. 4. Having sex can help trigger your creativity. I the act of sex itself is already a creative act intended to birth new life. Even when you're not trying to conceive, you're still creating a bond experience with your partner. But there's an added psychological effect that can help you in your creative pursuits. Whether it's art, design, music, writing, or even just creative thinking. And it's that same chemical again. Oxytocin. Although it's intended to make you feel closer to your partner, it's also able to create cognitive, flexible pathways in the brain which can foster creative thinking and improve problem-solving. 5. Orgasms, use it or lose it? Now, this one might scare you if you've not been sexually active for an extended period, and it is rare, however, also possible that you may lose your sexual sensation if you go for long periods without sex, if you're a woman. There's a known called clitoral atrophy which occurs when the clitoris doesn't receive enough blood flow, which in turn causes it to retract into the body. There is also the possibility of penile atrophy, but this usually has less to do with a lack of sex and more to do with aging or injury. 6. Want an orgasm? Leave your socks on. If you've ever bought your partner lingerie or like to play dress-up, you might want to reconsider whether it's actually the best thing. Research done at the University of Groningen suggests that if you want to increase your chances of having an orgasm, you might just want to keep your socks on during sex. Their theory is that in order to have an orgasm, you need to be totally relaxed and anxiety-free. And cold feet could interfere with the ability to really get into the moment, according to psychologist and author Fran Wolfish, PhD. 7. The egg chooses the winning sperm. Six. Men like to believe that it's the fastest sperm that wins the race. But this so-called asex fact is a massive misconception, according to sexologist Jill McDevitt. She goes on to say that the narrative is biased with our cultural lens about men being competitive. He violent words like drillings, burrowings, and penetrating the egg, while the egg wind sits around passively. She then further expands by saying, in reality, eggs have sophisticated biological mechanisms that actively choose which sperm they allow in. And it isn't always the first one to arrive, which, when you think about it, makes a lot more sense. The egg has a biological imperative to make the perfect match, just as we try to find the perfect partner. 8. People who have less sex overcompensate in their jobs. Now, this one may open your eyes if you're a single workaholic. Researchers at the University of Göttingen in Germany found that people with an inactive sex life tend to do more work to compensate for their lack of fulfillment. The study asked 32,000 people to open up about their sex life and work habits. The results found that 36 of men and 35 of women who only had sex once a week would also work excessive hours at their jobs. The more work you have, the more stress you have. And the more stress you have, the less sex you have.